look like a trick room team though. The only trick room setter is Callie. What if I just like went bam right off the right from the get go? Just like bang bang. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, does Mewtwo get trick room? Literally, I don't know what Mewtwo does. Okay, it's like it's just there. <laughs> if I had to guess, uh oh, okay. Well, this is a lead. Do I just let Snorlax do whatever it's gonna do. I mean, what if it just like belly drums turn one? Like, that's fine. I can let it belly drum. I kind of want to get my weakness policy up. So like, I can steal Spike the Mewtwo and that'll get me a defense boost against whatever Snorlax is gonna do. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. There's a Badoo. Oh well. Okay, no protects. Unless I missed it. Which <laughs> is entirely possible. My color balance is so fucked up. Like, every time I look at my face, I'm like, ah. I don't know what to do. Trick room? Hell no. Ain't happening. Andy, okay, so I like to use belly drum. Okay, this is great. This is good for us. Now we can just double the Snorlax next turn. Okay, so we're, I'm gonna double the Snorlax and kill it. Good news, we'll be plus two defense, so whatever Instant is gonna do won't take out my Sogaleo at the very least. And Callie's still got its Sash. What? <laughs> Why does this Instant have Protect? What? This is the best case scenario for me. Um, okay. Thank you? I'm fine. All good. Okay, I'm worried a little bit about a sash on Cali because that is a thing. Like, the Calyrexes that don't Dynamax sometimes are sash so that they can set Trick Room. So I'm going to Astral Barrage plus Steel Spike into the Cali because Cali's a bigger threat than Ensign, obviously. Oh, doesn't matter. Okay. 1-1. One, one. Fucking really? What the fuck am I gonna do about Gigas Weezy? Like, what is my deal here? I feel like I can only do what I did before, but that didn't work out that well for me last time. But like, I'll give it another go. I mean, I feel like I have to just Electro Web. Weezing usually protects turn one. So get that defense boost on the Gigas. On one of my other teams, I have a Whimsicott with Worry Seed, which would be really great right about now. <laughs> Fuck! The Weezing didn't protect. Okay, so clearly my assumption that the Weezing always protects turn one is incorrect. I should start attacking the Weezing. Fucking hey Gigas, like why are you here? No! Okay, well time to get my weakness policy off. Honestly, I should have taken out this wheezing turn one. I shouldn't have let myself get burned. Maybe that's the play. Maybe instead of like leading Heliolisk and all that bullshit, I just lead my normal lead. Cali plus Sogaleo. I bulldoze and I just kill the Weezing. I keep targeting the Weezing until it's dead. Because once the Weezing is dead, Gigas is not a threat. And Gigas takes like three turns minimum to kill. Like, I don't have anything on my team that's gonna Oko fucking Dynamax Gigas. You bitch. I don't think this is gonna kill my Cali. Thank you, defense boost.
<laughs> Does that remind you of C? Nothing can Oko P2? Oh no, we found the thing that Oko is P2. Tell me about it, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're gonna cover the wheezing with an expanding force. And we're gonna continue going after Gigas here. That was really funny though. <sighs> I need to find the thing that Oko's Gigas. That's what I need to do. You know, Starfruit, it was in one of my YouTube videos, and I cannot for the life of me remember which one it which one. Um <laughs> But I put it in a YouTube video because it was so funny. It had to have been one of my, like, team showcase videos. <gasps> what was it that o code P2? Was it, like, Helping Hand plus, like, Zacian Sacred Sword or something? No, it was G-Max Wildfire. It was, it was a Dynamax Charizard in the sun, Solar Power, Life Orb, G-Max Wildfire. That o code P2. My Calyrex is still alive. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! That's right. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Bulldoze is enough to pick off that Gigas, and we'll get a nice um, speed drop on the Kyogre. So, we're gonna Bulldoze, and then we're gonna Protect. We'll let the Kyogre take out Calyrex. Fuck! What the fuck is that?! Oh, you fucking asshole. Why? Is this a common thing? Sobaleo should still outspeed Kyogre unless... Unless Kyogre is, um... Scarfed. I mean, that Kyogre probably protects you, right? So that the Gigas can go... For like ice punch you know what okay we're gonna cover our bases we're gonna fake out the gigas that should finish it off and then we're gonna wild charge the kyogre so galeo should outspeed the kyogre oh i'm not that mad at this this is fine this is okay yeah fucking wide guard we were on showdown the other day, and there was this Aegis Slash that every single fucking turn kept spamming wide guard. <laughs> Even when you stopped using spread moves, but that's good, right? Because then, they're wasting their turn. I think the way this Kyogre's maneuvering tells me it's not Scarf. We're gonna Grassy Glide the Aleki, should take it down. Oh wait, no Protect. Aleki's done. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you all see that? The Kyogre outsped my Solgaleo, but then it missed Origin Bulls on both of my Pokemon. I feel so bad. This guy would have won. Well, probably not, because it was just Origin Pulls, not Spout, but like. He would have won. He lost to RNG. <laughs> then he quit. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dude. Well, this actually isn't the worst thing in the world. I can just, I can lead my normal lead here, honestly. Put Rilla in the back. That speed control. Maybe Heliolisk too. Steel Spike the Alchemy. I thought about that. But Loki. With weakness closely, I might be able to just kill the Dialga instead. That's what I'm kind of hoping for right here. We're about to find out. <laughs> We're gonna learn a lesson. <laughs> Either it'll be a good one or a bad one. Oh, that's not even close. I made a bad choice. Well, I mean, we got a special attack boost, so now, like, the Dialga is gonna- or a special defense boost, so the Dialga is not gonna do as much damage to us. Oh, 
but now the Dialga's basically got a weakness policy. Oh, you're gonna steal Swipe White Calyrex? Boo-hoo! That, e that didn't even take me down to Sash! And its special attack was plus two! Dialga sucks ass. I'm just wondering if Calyrex is gonna kill the Dialga, or if I should double to be safe. Oh, shit! Well, I did not expect that to happen. Oh, no, it's ho- oh, fuck! Wasted a turn of Dynamax right here. What other moves does Alchemy get other than Decorate? Please help, please help. Fucking bitch. What a move! Oh, it's just gonna Decorate, okay, that's fine. Cause it's not about to Dynamax, so like, what are, you, what are you gonna do? You don't have time to do anything. Just sit there and decorate all you want, Alchemy, and I'll just keep killing the things you decorate! 62% KO with Jolly on the standard P2, though. Ah, that's not enough. I need a guaranteed. They're really just gonna like sit here and let my Calyrex do whatever. <laughs> Ooh, we picked up a KO. We picked up a KO. Callie's doing it. Deals 75% to Gigas, so might need something extra. Perhaps with Helping Hand, you could run another item on me and Shao, like Black Belt. <laughs> Bye! Oh, shit. What if this is like a Kali Grim lead? And we can like save Solgaleo and Lando in the back. That way we can kind of pick who to Dynamax. Oh, shit! I should have let Solgaleo. I have access to electric terrain. We could shut Spore right down. I'm a dum dum. Damn it. I should have just let Solgaleo and we could have Thunder. Max, Max Thunder. And then we got electric terrain. I made a bad choice. Oh, guess what, Lunala? I was not about to Astral Barrage. <laughs> but that's not gonna be enough. No, I should have doubled the Amoongus. I should have... Oh, it- why does it have eject button? I don't know, but I'm cool with that. You think they'll use Wygard again? I want to see. Let's protect. Let me just see what you're about to do, and then I'll decide what I want to do. But oh, I can't price your dark types. I'm the biggest stupid head. No! Fucking trick room. Okay, that's fine. Um, Lunala is a special attacker. Yes. So I should put in Sogaleo. And light screen. You ran Thunder Punch Groudon on one of your teams with Helping Hand and it was kind of vague. Nice. This sounds fun. I love doing like weird ass shit like that. And everybody's like, what the fuck are you doing? And But it kind of works. Trick room. Three turns of trick room. Say so we quake the Lunala. This is a special attacker. Um, and let's protect so I can kind of scout out what's about to happen here. So 
we still have Callie in the back. Oh, there's that reflect. Oh, you were going for my Lando. But I protected. Fuck. That did like nothing. Why? Why did that do like so little? I mean, yeah, you put up a reflect, but still. How bulky is this fucking Lunala? Okay, well, let's just take out the Grim, hopefully. I'll go for a fly just to take me out the field for more turns. Oh, that's Lunala's, Lunala's ability. It reduces damage at full health. Fuck. Oh no, my Landers is dead. Oh, Lando's dead. Poor Lando, goodbye. Bye, Lando. Well, that's okay. I'd rather lose Lando than Sogaleo at this point. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh, it's sashed. Sash Grim Snarl? What is happening here? Yeah, we'll get a quake on Lunala. Last turn of Trick Room, so we'll protect, and then we can um Astro Barrage next turn to take out both the Grim and the Lunala. Oh, but that Grim has Sucker Punch. Probably should have taken out the Grim this turn. But it feels like a waste to use a Dynamax move on a Pokemon with one HP. <laughs> This Lunala has not gotten one single full para. Have you noticed that? Yeah, there's a sucker punch. Oh, it's still not taking very much damage at all. No, I can't. I can't do that. I think we have to just take the hit from the from the sucker bunch. Cause Lunal is like using Moon Guy's beam, so like no, we have we have to double protect. Let's let's just go for it. Maybe we maybe we get the full pair this turn. That would be fantastic. Yeah, Trick Room is over, but oh yes. Yes, I picked good. Trick Room is over, but see, Grimmsnarl um, keeps using Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch fails as long as I don't use a damaging move. But as soon as I use an attacking move, the, the Sucker Punch has plus one priority, and it'll take my Calyrex all the way down to Sash. Okay, now Lunala's got Y Guard, and it's gonna keep spamming it. Also, when is it gonna fucking be paralyzed? Like, it's been paralyzed this whole time, and it hasn't had one single... Full para, like why? Rush around. <laughs> Rush around is just chilling in the back. That's cool. Love that for us. Um, but the good news is because the protect failed, I can protect again this turn. <laughs> scarf recover? Honestly, that's a meme. That's a meme. That's more of a meme than scarf protect. Was that butter free? <laughs> Uh, you know, I would replace Psychic Fangs and Flare Blitz with Earthquake. Bitch. Oh, yeah, we're so gonna lose. I would replace Psychic Fangs and Flare Blitz on the Sogaleo with Earthquake and, um, and, uh, Wild Charge. I have been finding that more helpful on my Sogaleo. But, you know, you do you. It's a fucking nightmare. Just to help you against like uh, priority moves. Arnold Fuzzy Nugget. <laughs> Ooh, Bulldoze is an interesting move on Groudon. That's your only stab move is Bulldoze. I might not suggest that. I would maybe not suggest not doing that. Yeah! 
Yes! Oh my god, weakness policy! But I love Lilligan. I'm gonna Earthquake Protect here. Because we just had our weakness policy activated. And that gets us through their last turn of Dynamax from Reshiram. If Reshiram targets Kali. But yeah, I think your, I think your Charizard is good too. Doesn't Magic Room negate the speed buff from Scarf? You know, I have no idea. I don't know exactly how Magic Room works. Oh, the Scarf would go first and then you would turn items off with... Uh... I see, okay. Oh yeah, the Zard should be G-Max. I didn't even notice. The question is gonna be whether my plus one is enough to take out this Amoongus. Yes! Boom! The Kaleo team is four and two. Okay, we'll put Sogaleo and Kali in the back. We'll lead Heliolus plus Lando, and then we can just decide, um, depending on what they lead, whether we're gonna Dynamax Lando or Sogaleo. Yes, Lando does have Rock Ball. The problem is, is that without Heliolus, um, Charizard will outspeed Lando. So I need the speed drop from Electro Web for this to work. I have to just kind of hope it's not a Charty, Charty Zard. What are the odds? Okay, let's look up on Picolytics. How many how many Charizards carry Charty Berry over Life Orb? See, Charty Berry is only 36%, Life Orb is 46. So statistically, I should assume that this is a Life Orb Charizard and not a Charty Berry Charty Berry Charizard. And I'm just gonna smush it. I'm just gonna smush it and see what happens. Okay, I was kind of expecting them to switch and grout on here, so that makes me a little nervous. They didn't. I'm well I'm I'm having to assume that it's not Charty Berry because I need the speed drop from Electro Web. Yo. I I have to just assume it's not Charty Berry and that it's Life Orb instead. Because if I swap in Calyrex to unnerve it, it will just murder, it will just murder my landers before my landers gets a chance to move. Buried Charizard. That is cursed. Okay, I'm incredibly mad about this. Incineroar. The same thing would have happened though. He would have hit me first. But I guess he wouldn't have had the Charty Berry. He airstreamed, which is big problems for me. Now I have to play around it. Yeah, you're right. Calyrex wouldn't have taken Fake Out, and then I would have picked up Charizard. Okay, we're gonna get it anyway. We're just gonna go the long way around. Because I still would have taken the same amount of damage either way. So I just basically wasted a turn of Dynamax, but that's fine. Astro Barrage here, Charizard does not. 
get it hit off. And then I quake. Oh, battle one. Ooh, what happened? I get made to laugh every time. damage because it has that guaranteed uh oh you don't have quake oh well then yeah max lightning probably would have been the best ha <laughs> ha this worked out so well for me <laughs> this hand tried to hit my lando but you couldn't and i still have sold the in the back so the idea here get everything down to where Solgaleo can come out and just like click earthquake and win that's the, that's the play. Because since we bulldozed, Sogaleo has the speed advantage. Okay, because we did what we needed to do there. Now, so Galeo comes out, clicks Earthquake, and should win from here. You kept Fangs, but swatched Flare Blitz out for Wild Charge, like you suggested. Okay, but here's the thing. You're a Sun team. You probably should have swapped... If Okay, if you were gonna swap out anything, then you should... I think maybe you should have kept Flare Blitz, since you're a Sun team, you know? Fucking got the tell. Alright, let's do this. I see an Incineroar, so I want to lead my um, fake out proof lead. I think we can put Heliolisk in the back and Rillaboom. They're both good speed control in different ways. This should be enough to kill anyway. Plus, if Gothitel goes for an ally switch, then um, we still get the defense boost. I'll just deal with Zacian. Maybe I'll do it on stream next week. Maybe I'll try to build it on stream. We'll see. Ooh, that was the best case scenario. Gothitelle goes for fake out on my Dynamax Mon. Yes. Does Gothitelle get wide guard? I should check. No, thank God. Everybody ganks it till Blissey gets lightning rod and starts sweeping. <gasps> that sounds so funny. Dark Urshifu. With God the Tell. Oh wait, no. I did this in the wrong order. Okay, um. We're gonna steal Spike again. Target the Urshifu. But if they ally switch, then we get the God the Tell. Um. I think they're gonna be expecting me to protect against the Sucker Punch, so I'm actually going to Astro Barrage so that at least I can get a hit off before I take a hit from that Urshifu, because Urshifu is gonna hit me through Protect anyway. I think they go for Wicked Blow instead of Sucker Punch here. I can't get Callie out of there because Gothitelle's ability traps you on the field. Callie's stuck. Kelly did its job though. Activated my weakness policy. <gasps> oh, my Sogaleo is about to be dead. Good news is I can get Kelly out of there now. Wait, what? Ghosts are immune to trapping? Are you for real right now? I did not know that. At least I don't have to worry about Sucker Punch because they Dynamax the Urshifu. Like, that's nice. <laughs> no! No! It's still alive! Fuck. Oh, 
Oh, they're immune to shadow tag. Okay, I did not know that. Well, it turns out it's maybe a good thing that I left Kali in. Because, like, this, this S has actually worked out for me. Okay, I'm gonna quake the Dialga and then just click Astro Barrage. So, like, if it was Arena Trap, Calyrex would still be trapped. All kinds of trappings? I don't know. I don't know. This is very confusing. <laughs> You know, it worked out for me, so we're fine. It's okay. Turned out to be a good thing I stayed in. Because they stupidly Dynamaxed their Urshifu. Just saying, that was a dumb idea. Did not work out for them.